Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. Hope that you guys all had a very nice weekend and a nice Mother's Day. Um, what I have for you guys today is my top five non-beauty YouTube channels. What's funny is that I had already thought about doing this a couple weeks ago and then somebody said you should do a Topic Tuesday on that. And so that is what I'm doing today. So these are not necessarily in any particular order, but I will preface this with if you are on my vlog channel, you know that I do some cooking videos and I very much enjoy, I love to cook, I love to bake, I really, really enjoy that. It's something I've always liked to do. So uh, three of the five of these are <laughs> cooking channels. So the first one I want to talk about, I'm relatively new to in the past, I don't know, maybe two months, and that is Laura Vitale from Laura in the Kitchen. And of course, I will link everybody below if you want to check them out. She um, has well over 500 videos of different recipes, um, some healthy, some not so healthy, which is what I like. I like a variety. You can't eat a healthy all the time, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, she, I just, I like her personality. She's very real. She doesn't come across, um, like a know-it-all kind of a thing. And she, I think she's from a smaller town too, because frequently I'll hear, hear her say she can't get that at her grocery store, which is my problem all the time. I want to try great recipes and I can't find the things that the ingredients that they're talking about at my grocery store. So, um, you know, 99 times out of a hundred, I'm able to find everything that she's talking about. And I don't think she's put up a recipe that I haven't um, been like, oh, I could make that. And I have made some of her recipes, lots of her recipes already, and very much enjoy them. So I really think you would, you guys would enjoy her. She, she just is very, like very real, very down to earth. And I just found out she actually has a, like a second channel that I just subscribed to. I can't speak to it, but I'm pretty sure she's a beauty lover like we are. So that's awesome. Um, and I found, I, like I, oh, I think I said, found her about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is Danny Spees, and I've talked about her a bunch on my vlog channel. She has uh, her own blog and website that's cleananddelicious.com, and her videos are um, also cooking videos, but she does clean eating sort of videos, which is very helpful to me. So I very much, and she does a lot of how-to, like um, how to prepare a spaghetti squash. So she might do that and, and all of her videos are, are, you know, very short, like five minutes ish. And then the next week or the next video, she'll show you how to use the spaghetti squash you just prepared. So I really kind of like the way that she does that. She will use ingredients. Maybe I've not used before. and don't know how to prepare as well. And I kind of get a, what I think she calls it a how to. So it's kind of like a, you know, like spaghetti squash 101, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, and she also is very real, very, very funny. She always has bloopers at the end that crack me up. So that is Danny Spees. And again, her, that's her webs or that's her YouTube channel. And then she has cleananddelicious.com as her website. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is Jamie Oliver. He, you guys may, be, may remember him. He did a video or he had a video. He had a TV show I can't remember what it was called, but it was where he went into school districts, I think it was in Kentucky or West Virginia, um, to try to change the way they were eating. And it was very interesting. I actually watched that show from beginning to end. It was like food emergency. I can't remember what it was called. But anyway, he's from the UK and his channel um, is, you know, he's also about healthy eating and eating real foods and not eating processed foods and that kind of thing. He has a bunch of different guest stars and some of them are really funny. So, um, I just, again, I just found his channel, um, not a couple of months ago, something like that. Uh, so yeah, Jamie Oliver's channel. Then, um, the next one I have is the Wigs channel and that, if you guys haven't seen this, I'm sure maybe you've seen a lot of the, the advertisements for wigs, but they do different like mini series. They, when they started out, they would do a mini series and these are with like actors that you are familiar with. They aren't actors you don't know. Um, so they started doing mini series that one episode would come out like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, most recently, the last two times they, they, um, it will pop up in my subscription box on a Friday and there's maybe ep ep eight episodes I can go and watch. I'm actually behind on the current one, but, um, they're very, just very, very interesting. I think they are very well done and I kind of like it as a, as an escape from reality for a little bit, but I, I really have enjoyed what the Wigs channel has done and what they can bring to YouTube that they can't bring, you know, maybe to TV. There is some language in there, so kind of, you know, be careful of that, but it's really, it's an interesting, 
It's an interesting channel, so wigs. And then the last one I have is, is a music channel, actually. It's PTX Official, and I believe the, the group is called Pentatonix is the na actual name of the group. What I like about them is almost everything that they do, at least on their YouTube, is um, acapella. They do all the all of the um, percussion, all the any kind of any kind of the things behind the music with like vocally. It's it's very cool, very interesting, and they are doing. Sometimes they do their own stuff, but a lot of times they're doing remakes of songs that are out there. Do you guys have to check them out? If you like music at all, you have to check out that channel if you haven't. Those are my top five non-beauty YouTube channels. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Seemed like um, when I kind of asked a few other people, they thought that that would be a good video to do. So that's what I did. Uh, and then hopefully Thursday, I'm hoping to get up a review on the Real Techniques brushes because I know you guys wanted that sooner rather than later. So I'm hoping to do that for you. I've, I think I've tried them enough to, to kind of report back on that. Uh, yeah, and that's all I have for you. So if you aren't interested in, what see, in seeing what is on my face, thank you so much for watching. And if you are, I will run it down very quickly for you. Today on my face, I have the Rouge Bunny Rouge um, Primer and Foundation. And then I have that topped off with the Burberry Powder, the Powder Foundation in Trench 01. For my blush today, I have Coralista from Benefit. On my eyes... I have the first look, I am doing um, a video with the six of these Bare Mineral High Shine shadows. That was the one in Patina, so that's what's on my, look my eyes today. I have a little, um, all the glitters in the inner corner and some transition color, but I'll talk about that more in the video. And then on my lips today, I have the Dolce & Gabbana um, Natural Monica, which looks like that. And then over top of that, I have the... Avon Glazeware in Apple Cinnamon, which looks like that. That about covers it. I hope that you guys have had a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon.